Hello Pisces! Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your love and romance reading for this week. This is the week of August 12, 2019. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you whom have been with me from the very beginning. For, to those of you whom have come to me for month-to-month -month readings. And most importantly, to those of you whom have donated to keep my channel up and running. Thank you so very much. All right. So I'm doing a different spread today because I was called to, or I should say for these weeklies this week now on the bottom of the deck here this is the oceanen deck pisces sun moon or rising male or female you have the energies of the eight of cups letting go so that you can manifest something new or you can continue to manifest what it is you've been working on yes because a passionate path in the area of love and romance has gone full circle with the Ten of Wands. And now you're feeling suppressed and tied up in knots. But you do have the Nine of Cups here. Spirit saying your wishes can come true in the area of creativity, finances, and career. Heck, your wishes can come true when it comes to making a wish come true in the area of love with someone who has the devil energies unhealthy, someone who is dealing with an addiction, someone who has sly and cunning behavior. So the advice here is, is to definitely uh, open your heart to a creative hobby project, gift, talent, or skill. Know that spirit is providing for you during this week the courage to plant new seeds, more goals and intentions, making changes to what you've been working on, enhancing and learning more about the evolution of what this new path is going to be about, this passionate, exciting journey in front of you. The Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe. So this first card here has been coming up a lot for Pisces. So I feel as though a lot of Pisces have been dealing with someone who has air in her chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or you have surpassed the lesson, the test you put yourself through <clears throat> and have recognized spiritual morality. So with the Queen of Swords energies, this is about knowing black from right, uh, black from white, right from wrong and so on. Knowing where your boundaries now stand and not fearful of expressing those boundaries, of cutting away very kindly, fairly and justly anything that no longer serves you so that you can go through this beautiful healing process. Now, with the King of Cups energies, we have a Pisces who is climbing into the King of Cups throne is healing from some form of lesson. Again, each lesson we experience at one point was a choice we chose, right? And now you are healing from that. Healing from maybe... A situation that involved an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Yeah, there's a lot of guilt here in the beginning of the week when it comes to this Pisces. But Spirit's saying, as you are healing from maybe incorrect decision making is what I'm hearing. You're now starting to shine like the sun. Okay? You have surpassed the test of a journey and can now shine like the sun as you heal. Feel like a kid again. So by Wednesday, Thursday, we have the Four of Wands. Celebrating a commitment, a partnership, moving in together, a, a change when it comes to home or business. A solid foundation a very passionate exciting solid foundation and it's bringing in the energies of the ten of cups by the end of the week going into the weekend we have serenity peace joy happiness contentment a happily ever after in the area of celebration 
when it comes to home or business. So now we have the chariot, a Pisces that is traveling and or moving into a new direction. Recognizing, coming into an awareness that the past is burning away and that now you can step into the direction of your wishes coming true because of this celebration in the home family business. Recognizing that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So we have healing and then we have three major arcanas, shining like the sun, coming into an awareness, traveling towards home or business, peace and serenity. The Wheel of Fortune, recognizing, is turning in your favor this week. Because, on the bottom of the deck, somebody is using the energies of letting go. How do you let go? You shift your perspective and you put your energy, your passionate energy into a hobby, gift, talent, skill, idea, project, something that fulfills you day to day. So it's definitely a time of healing, listening to your intuition, recognizing that you don't have to feel guilty if you learned from ne negative uh, uh, behaviors, patterns, cycles. Now, I'm bringing in the, <coughs> pardon me, Romance Angel deck by Dorian Virtue for further clarification for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. All right, so your message is very basic for this week, Pisces. It's about loving yourself first. Your self-respect is what's going to make you more romantically attractive. Some may have been thinking about a new love, about expressing their heart to someone in hopes that there will be some form of marriage or commitment. And Spirit's advice is to free yourself and heal. This could have been a past life situation or someone who needed to be forgiven. Maybe this King of Water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Spirit's saying you deserve love. If you're single, connect with your friends. Get out and let your light shine. Love yourself because your self-respect is going to help for you to recognize happiness in your journey ahead. Some here want to reconcile, but there are energies of deception. And I think that was the lesson. Maybe the deception had to do with the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So Spirit's advice is to remain optimistic because positive thinking is going to lead you into the direction whereby your Wheel of Fortune is going to move in your favor. Yes. For some, you thought someone was a soulmate, but they had a different perspective, a different outlook. And Spirit's saying, you paid attention to the red flags and you trusted in divine timing in the area of love. Therefore... You got to experience forgiveness and learned a lot of things, especially when it came to children. Your love life may have been affected by children. But Spirit's saying don't lose your playfulness. Release your ex. Release who is on your heart. Speak your truth and free yourself from any codependency. So it could be a week where... Pisces is going to finally be able to say, I'm freeing myself from the guilt. I'm healing. I'm going to love myself first. I'm going to continue to move towards the success spirit wants to guide me towards with the major arcana of the chariot, towards harmony, serenity, peace, joy, happiness, stability, as I watch the wheel of fortune turn in my favor. Yeah. So there was arrogance. And now this Pisces is saying, I'm not going to, Connect with people who are arrogant anymore. It's black or white. I've thought enough about this guilt. And now I'm healing. Because this could just be my friend. And I'm okay with that. The sun's going to shine on me because I have the priest energies. I now know right from wrong. So I'm going to enjoy with the melancholy energies. My family, my friends, my stability, my security. 
There's going to be cheerfulness and gatherings with the Ten of Cups of a happily ever after. Coming into an awareness that something tied to the past is burning away and that now you can step into new successful directions, maybe regarding children, working with children, burning away from someone tied to your childhood. Yes, I feel like some are going to receive an unexpected visitor around the end of the week, end of the weekend, whichever Pisces this is, because they're coming in to have a good time, to party, to pleasure seek. So when the wheel's here, this is about karma. Celebrate this beautiful life you have and be content in the melancholy of that, the day-to-day. Yes, there's falseness here. Somebody wants a gift. They want something. But their journey towards you is going to help for you to evolve and recognize. Maybe you were waiting for a more profitable lifestyle. And you caused yourself despair. But now that you are ending something... A consolation prize is on its way. You are the sweetheart. And here's the surprise card. Someone may come towards you with the lover energies, but they're a soldier. They're closed off. They're a love them and leave them attitude. So you can connect, but don't become a servant, right? Stand still. And strong with the constancy energies, the stubbornness, because you've come a long way, Pisces, so far that you can have a good time. But you can also come into an awareness when something ends that it's ended, and you're, I feel like you're going to be fine with that. Interesting week. So don't allow yourself to become addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, or thought. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and say, I want this for the future. Do you? So for clarification, I'm bringing in the wisdom of the House of Night deck. This person's coming in to have a good time. And you're going to know because they're arrogant. Okay, look at this. This Pisces in the past wanted to hop, skip, and jump and take a risk right off that cliff because that person was probably very attractive. But Spirit's giving you the strength to heal now. To let go of the constant thoughts, the guilt. To now learn that you don't need another to come heal you. That you are somehow healing yourself with the King of Cups energies. So here you are, enjoying hopefully day to day, finding peace and serenity in your home environment with family and etc. And coming to an understanding that a celebration is on its way. And you're going to have the vision energies to say, my vision, what I envisioned, envisioned for myself, I am now celebrating. I have burnt away from the past, the childhood, an old situation, and I am leaving behind this beauty that's only skin deep tied to my childhood or my past. Yeah, playful energies. I have the strength now to pleasure seek as well, but to make the right decisions so the Wheel of Fortune can indeed turn in my favor. Take an oath and bring a conclusion to a chaotic situation. You're going to be able to more clearly see chaotic energies around you. And the High Priestess is going to, of Spirit is going to help to guide you into the path of your highest best good, the clarity that you need. And this process is going to give you great self-worth. So listen closely, not to what someone's saying to you, but to their actions. Will the situation cause the energies of complicated?
to come in. So be careful. There's fulfillment here. But there's also the cycles card of unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles in Pisces, in the person that Pisces will be connecting with, or in the connection in general. Love yourself first. This is a path of self-respect. And it's a time to heal so that the Wheel of Fortune can now turn in your favor. If you're single, it could be with a new person. For others, whatever you've been hoping, wishing, and praying to see come manifest in your life is going to show up. So to close, I'm pulling one card from the Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. If these messages have resonated and you'd like more information, feel free to email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the box below. I am offering a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading. And I'm also offering the Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Okay, so Spirit's saying, honor and trust your feelings. You can do this. Love yourself first. Don't take a risk. Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. Decide to be happy now. Wow. Okay, so Pisces, your prayer for this week is, Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me to understand and to express my emotions with love. In a kind way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care.